Here's how to transfer files from Android to Mac and Mac to Android quickly and easily. We're gonna cover the best options for Mac and Android file transfer so that you can get the job done as fast as possible. So I've broken this video down into four categories for the different transfer options that you've got. So we've got cable, Wi-Fi, external storage, and internet. And feel free to jump around between the different categories. You can see them all laid out down the bottom. But what I would strongly recommend is that you're watching this video through so that you're leaving here with the best option for you. So kicking things off, first off, we're going to look at methods by using a cable. So you're going to connect your Android device to your Mac, and then we're able to transfer files that way. Now for this, you've really got two main options. The first one is Android file transfer, which is the official Android app to do this. In my experience, it's completely buggy and an absolute waste of time. So the alternative is to use a free tool called OpenMPT. So you wanna go ahead and head to the OpenMTP website for this. I just Google search it. We'll have a link down in the description box below, but you wanna make sure that this is the one here. And you can see here we've got OpenMTP, safe, transparent, open source, and free for lifetime. So you wanna download on your Mac, whichever version you need. So I'm on an M2, so I'm gonna go this one here. Once that's down loaded, you want to go ahead and open up the app. And this is then what you'll see when you first open up the app. So on the left side here is your computer. On the right hand side here is where your phone will show up. So we want to go ahead and plug in our phone. Now at this point, you might get a pop-up on screen. You'll need to enable file transfer. If you're not seeing anything, then you want to pull down from the top to go to where it says charging this device or USB options. Let's press on that. And we want to make sure that we have selected here use USB for file transfer. That's what we need to enable. Now from there, we just wanna hit refresh up here and then our phone should show up. Now, if not, like you see that I got a little error message up here, uh, error while setting up the phone. Usually what that means is that there's another device that's trying to control that USB port. So I wanna go through and make sure that I am closing anything that is using USB wherever possible. So for me, it's actually the screen recording software that I'm using right now to record my screen. I had to close that to connect it and then open it back up. But from here, now that that's connected, we can then see all the folders on our device. We can then navigate through and find the files that we wanna transfer on either side. So I've got three video files here. I'm gonna hold down Command so I can select all three just by clicking on them. I'm gonna to wanna to put them in, let's say this movies folder here. We open up that folder, I can then click and drag from this side, so from our computer onto our Android device, and that transfer is going to happen. Now you do wanna make sure that you are using a high quality USB cable here. If you're using a slow and older, a USB 2 speed cable, then your transfer rates are gonna be much, much slower. Now that that's done, I can jump back to my phone. I can open up the files app or a file explorer, then navigate through and find those files. We can see here, I've got those three files there on my device. Now this works the same back the other way as well. If I wanna transfer from my phone to the computer, again, we wanna find the files. So maybe I'll grab this one here. I can then drag it back to where we want it. And that transfer is done really, really quickly. And we can see this is the screen recording video file that I just transferred back from my Android device to my Mac. So that's the first option using a cable and using OpenMTP. Now we're gonna to jump to using wireless. So wirelessly transferring files between our Mac and our Android device and back the other way. So for this, there is an amazing, again, a free tool called SnapDrop. So on your computer, you wanna to head to the website, snapdrop.net. And this is what it looks like. This is fully loaded. So then on your phone, you'll wanna to go to the the same website, snapdrop.net. And straight away on the computer, we can see that we have a phone that has appeared here. And on the phone, we can see that we have a computer that has appeared here. Now, both of our devices do need to be on the same wireless network. So even though we've connected to a website on both of these, the transfer isn't going over the internet. This website has just created a connection between our devices on our local network. So this is secure. And it also means that we're not uploading our files to the internet and back down to the device. This is a direct transfer between the two. This is so awesome. So if we wanna send a file from the computer to the phone, we just wanna click on the phone from the computer. We can then go ahead and find the file that we want to send. Uh, so I'll pick a video file here. Let's choose open. And we can see straight away that that transfer is happening. And we're seeing the same thing on the phone as well. Now these names, Jade Mandrill and Macassan Panda, these are just random names that are made up probably for some sort of security reason. But we can see that the transfer is done from the computer side and over on the device, we're seeing that there is a file that's been received and then we're prompted to save that. So we hit save 
and that file is then saved on our device. We can then hit open. In this case, it's a video, so I'm gonna open it in photos. And this is the file that we transferred. Now, if we go back out of this and come back to our SnapDrop website. Now, I did actually refresh the page in between here, so that's why the name here has changed, but it's still the same device. So if I wanna send a file from the Android device back to the computer, it's the same process. On the device, I wanna tap on the computer. We'll then wanna choose Media Picker. Let's go through, find the file that we wanna send. So I'll pick this top one here and that transfer is happening exactly as before. And again, this isn't going out to the internet. This is just transferring between the two devices via your local network. So this time on the computer, we're seeing this received a file. We can choose to save it and it then saves it on our computer under downloads in this case. And here we have that file again here back on the computer now. So the next option for transferring is using some sort of external hard drive, external USB flash drive to physically transfer the files from your Mac to your Android and same back the other way. Now these days there are a lot of different options. You can go something like this, which is a USB-C drive. So it's gonna plug straight into the bottom of your device. Or you could also use some sort of USB adapter or hub, giving you more flexibility in terms of ports that you could plug in external storage. This option is pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to plug this device into the computer. We're going to copy our files onto the device. We're then going to plug it into the phone. And I'm going to show you how you can access the files that way and copy them off to the phone. And same back the other way. So I've plugged in my external drive here now. And we just need to get our files that we want to transfer onto here. So I'll grab this file here of the Opal C1 webcam. Let's drag that onto this drive. See if that transfer has now happened. We can now come down here, we can eject this untitled drive. And I can then go ahead and plug that into my device. That's been detected now. If we slide down from the top, you can see that we have here SanDisk USB drive. If we tap on that, then that's going to open it up and we can see our file is there immediately. Now, if you're not seeing that, because some devices will show things different ways, you can also open up the files app, scroll down the bottom and you can see your external drive there, SanDisk, that's taking us to the same place. So then to save this to our device, we just need to press the three little dots on the side and we choose copy to internal storage and then we find the folder that we want to transfer that to so we can choose download copy here and that transfer has happened for us so if we go back here let's go to downloads and we can see that our file is there at the top now the same will work back the other way if say we want to transfer this file here the second one over onto our Mac we can press the three little dots we can choose copy to and we can choose the SanDisk drive or your external drive which is copy here, the transfer is happening. We can see that progress bar along the bottom and that has happened. Now it's a good idea again to safely eject this. So come back up to your notifications area and pull down there and choose eject. It says don't remove, now it's safe to remove. We can then unplug that. We'll go ahead and plug the drive back into the computer. Let's open up our drive here, our external drive, and we can see that we have our original file and we also have our new video file on here as well. So to get that onto our computer, we can literally just drag it onto our desktop and that transfer is going to happen. So the last method for transferring files is over the internet. Now this is where you could use services like Google Drive, which makes sense if you're an Android, Dropbox, Google Photos even, depending on what it is you wanna transfer. So the idea here is that we're gonna be transferring or uploading our files to these different services. And then on the other device, we're gonna be downloading them from there to that other device. So the biggest downside with this though is that the transfer rate of the upload and download is really going to be dictated by your internet speed. If you've got terrible internet, then this is likely gonna be a terrible experience, but it could work really well if you're only gonna be transferring small files. So generally for me, if it's photos or videos, I'm going to be using this method, then that's where Google Photos works really well. But really for any type of files as well, that's where the flexibility of Google Drive or Dropbox or any other cloud storage service could be really easy as well. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna show you using Google Drive. So I'm on the Google Drive website now, drive.google.com. I'm signed into my account. I've created a temporary folder here. So my drive, new folder just called temp, totally empty. I'm gonna upload a file here that I can then access on my Android device. So I've got a file here, loom.mov. I'm just gonna drag that here into Google Drive and we can see that that is uploading down the bottom here. 
there is less than a minute left to upload this file. That video is now up on the Google Drive servers. So then over on my Android device, I can open up the Google Drive app. I could also just log in on the Google Drive website and be able to download it that way as well. But I wanna come across to files. We're then gonna navigate through to find that folder that I created. I've got my temp folder here, and in here is that file, Loom. So I can press the three little dots here and I can choose download, and that's going to save it to my device. Now to go back the other way, if we wanted to add something to this folder from this device, then I can just hit new and I can choose upload. I can then go and find whatever file that I want to transfer. So let's pick again this Opal video here. And it says that our file is being uploaded. Now, if you wanna check the progress of this upload, it's usually up here in the notification area. So if you pull down from the top, you can see that this upload is happening. So when that file is uploaded, then we can see here, it appears on our Google Drive account that we can see over on the computer computer. For us to download this, we just press the three little dots and choose download. Or if we hover over it, there's a direct download button here. And we can then save that file to our computer that way. So those are my top options right now for transferring files between Mac and Android. Now, if you wanna know how to get the most out of your Android device for making videos and check out the video that's linked on screen, where we take you through step-by-step -step the ultimate filming process. There's also a bunch of resources and links in the description box below to help you even further. And I will see you in the next video.